The report shows that new rents across the state increased by nearly 14% in 2022. All counties, bar one, saw double-digit increases, and some of these increases are frightening. Mayo up 21%, Roscommon up 20%, Galway up 19.4%, and the average rent now stands at a staggering €1,733 a month. Here in Dublin, it's even worse, with tenants paying on average €2,293 per month. 1880 per month for a room the size of a parking space where you pull your bed down. That would be that one, Taoiseach. Uh, week after week, you come in here, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael and gaslight Ireland's renters by telling them that your housing plan is working. But how you can make that claim to people who hand over the lion's share of their income and rent and who then see the rest of their income gobbled up by sky-high energy bills, childcare fees, grocery bills, is beyond me. Renters are now at breaking point and it's the job of government to protect them. So Taoiseach, I want to ask you to do three things. Firstly, legislate urgently to ban rent increases for three years. Secondly, deliver a meaningful cut in rent by putting a month's rent back into tenants' pockets through a refundable tax credit. And thirdly, extend the ban on evictions until the end of the year. Uh, in relation to rents, uh, rents in Ireland are very high and a lot of people are struggling to pay the rent and everyone in this house, on this side of the house acknowledge, acknowledges that. Um, and it hits hardest on people who are moving out of home for the first time, uh, people who are returning to Ireland, about 30,000 people return to Ireland every year, uh, and also people who are new to the country coming here uh, to work um, uh, in our public and private sectors. Uh, government is acting to help. Uh, we're helping in four ways that I think are significant. First of all, there is the rent tax credit, uh, 500 euros per renter. Uh, so 1,000 for a couple, three people sharing, 1,500. Uh, we've had 170,000 applications already for that rent tax credit uh, and really would encourage uh, people who haven't applied uh, to do so. Uh, for a lot of people, um, it will cover a few weeks' rent and a month's rent in, in, in some cases. And I hope it's something that we can build on. Uh, I think it's uh, hopefully it's something we, we can build on in, in, fu in future, future budgets. Uh, also, uh, we have cost rental, something that's been talked about for a long time, initiated by the last government being made a reality under this government, and that is the provision of cost rental housing uh, that people can rent with secure tenancies at a much lower rent than the market rent. And we want to scale that up a lot uh, over the coming years, and we intend to do exactly that. Uh, there are the rent pressure zones, um, which most renters are covered by, mean that rent increases are between 0 and 2% a year. And as the DAFT report, which you referred to uh, earlier on, uh, shows that for sitting tenants, for existing tenants, that's the vast majority of tenants, uh, rents rose by about 3.8% uh, in the past year, much lower than that figure of 13.7%, which refers only uh, to new-to-market tenancies. Uh, and, of course, we're helping people to buy. And that's, in, in my mind, the most significant thing, because we want people to become the owners of, of their own homes. About 70% of people in Ireland do own their own home. I'd like to see that figure much higher, uh, and it's certainly nowhere near that figure for younger people. It's probably around half that. Uh, and that's why we want to see more people buying their own home. And that's why we're helping. Uh, there's the help to buy uh, scheme, for example. People getting two years of, the, of their income tax back so they can buy their own home. That's something that you've promised to take away from first-time buyers. Uh, and now we have first home as well uh, for people who can get a mortgage but not enough to buy the house. Um, the gap can be bridged through the first home scheme. And again, something that Sinn Féin has promised to take away uh, if you get into government. Uh, and that's why we need to make sure uh, that those schemes stay in place.